Play action pass, Martell fires deep, looking for Ty John. Lindsay makes a catch over the shoulder and out of bounds to the 41 yard line. Their first connection of the night, Ty John Lindsay. Beautiful throw into the wind from Tate Martell and an outstanding grab from Ty John Lindsay. First and 10 Gales. Under center, Biagio Walsh, the deep back in the single set. Two tight ends. Martell, the throw, play action. Going deep, he's got Ty John Lindsay. Makes a grab of the 20, walks in the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Gales! Ty John Lindsay. Biagio Walsh in the backfield. Lindsay in motion. Martell hands off to Biagio Walsh. And Biagio breaks in the open field, across midfield, and nobody's going to catch him. See you later. 10 5, touchdown. Wow. Biagio, Ollie Walsh. 72 yards to the house. Gehagen in the slot at the top of the screen. Lindsay near side receiver. Martell looks toward Lindsay on the post, makes the grab at the 30. Track down at the 28 yard line. First and 10, Bishop Gorman at the 27. Looking to throw. He's got time. Going deep. Got a receiver. Makes the grab to the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. Jack Rabbits. Jackie Jones on the catch and run. And the first pass from Malik Henry as a Long Beach Poly Jack Rabbit is a touchdown. Receiver to each side. Two tight ends and a two tight alone setback. In the ace formation, 6.44 remaining in the fourth quarter. Brown in motion, Skidmore play action, throws to Brown, it's double pass, going back down the sideline. Matua tie it just, makes a grab the 10, to the 10 on the five, touchdown! Touchdown Roy! Matty Matua tie on the double pass! At 55 points in that tournament, he averaged a little over 30 as Jackson hits his First three-point attempt of the night. Jackson goes coast to coast to the left hand and in. Jackson a deep three. He's fouled and one. So Frampton up top. Jackson again for three. And Frank Jackson from downtown. Stolen ahead to Frank Jackson. And Jackson with a little bit of showtime. Goes up and flushes. The eight, 540 remaining in the fourth. Jackson crossover in the lane. Heart of the hole. Oh, what a throw down. Frank Jackson. Crossover and buries it. Now got 41, going to line looking for 42. The biggest narrative moving forward for BYU is how to handle Tanner Mangum. How do you keep a young man who just came up from his mission with expectations continuing to grow as he continues to make plays? It's a good problem to have, but it's also a major problem as really expectation levels are going through the roof because of what he's done. BYU fans, remember, he just came home from Chile. He's going to have those down moments. He's going to have games and halves that don't look very good. The future is bright with Tanner Mangum. We saw it tonight, not just in big plays, but in his poise and what he was able to do to lead BYU to wins. It makes the state look terrific. It makes BYU look good, and it will continue to make him look good in the future. But as excited as you might be about Tanner Mangum, you have to temper your expectations. He's going to have major valleys throughout the year. Physically, it's going to take a toll on him. He leaves this game against Boise State a full game. He's going to go on to UCLA. Does get an hour there, but then going to Michigan. Those are big-time defenses and the hits he's going to take. He took major hits tonight. He's going to take them next week. That's really the nature of the quarterback position, and because of that, he's going to have moments where he's going to struggle. Stay with the young man. Don't let the expectation level get so high that he can never reach it. Allow him to attain it, and I think we're going to see major things from Tanner Mangum. I'm not talking about Heisman trophies or anything else. I'm talking about careers like John Beck, like Max Hall, a lot of wins and wins against major teams. And he's already done it two games in for the BYU Cougars. And this is our week two Cougar rant. Yeah. Bingham continues to roll, yeah. continues to play well, but they're going to have to play Jordan and they're going to have to play uh, Brighton. I think Jordan gets him a little bit I think they're more of a test. Yeah. It's more like Alabama versus Ole Miss. <laughs> Spread offense against a very powerful defense. That is going to be a fun matchup. Well, I think there's still some question marks about Jordan. They can be as balanced as they want to be. Time for our weekly segment as we talk about Lone Peak. Yeah. They continue to roll. They're winning games over 26 points a game. Yeah. Lone Peak is it going. Coach Maurer and the Knights. Where did this come from? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is remarkable <laughs> when you think about it. And, you know, Region 4, that was thought to be a, a pretty deep conference coming into the season. And as you mentioned, they just continue to roll again, had another.